Always nice to see you get the creator and writer of PB Soldier comic. We look at it as an epic and a saga about a young man's journey through life. PB Soldier is a hacker specializing in information warfare or information espionage and now is listed as a top terror threat. To remain inconspicuous, he's pretty much underground. He works for Mr. Amen, who's the head of the program, and the program is a group of assassins that work indirectly for the establishment. Amen was the person who profited off of this whole fear of terrorism and capitalized on it by developing the system to be able to surveil the world. Jason. Elegant, but deadly. In the first scene, she's almost taking out PB Soldier. Dread is also an assassin. He's the individual who's going to follow up on PB Soldier if PB Soldier can't get the job done. PB Soldier resides within Renaissance City. Renaissance City is a providence within the establishment, also known as the E. The setting is somewhat in the future where we take the whole fear of terrorism to an all-time high. Everyone is considered a terrorist. These things justify worldwide surveillance and the database um, called the Nexus that stores everyone's information on what we call an IDS, which is our identification database system. And everyone in the world pretty much have to swipe in and out of uh, places, uh, use it to charge as currency. They're able to track uh, individuals' movement, uh, everything about them. The effects and influences of uh, human choice. How P.P. Soji reacts to his environment. That's the focus of the story. I actually had this concept uh, about five years now. P.P. Soldier actually birthed out of a clothing line when I was in college. And the actual logo represented certain things, a level of consciousness. But it, it started off as just a t-shirt. When I developed the story around it, I had my children in mind. My son, he was looking around for superheroes. So what I did was I developed this world. I developed this character. I was influenced by several people, uh, several historical figures, um, several books that I read. I mean, it's, it's a long list of things, several movies, uh, animation. I used to read um, a series called uh, Battle Angel Elite. Um, and that was pretty much one of the main manga uh, books that I got into, um, you know, as, as far as collecting. So all of those things influenced how I was looking to develop the story. I walk around with a clipboard to be able to copy down or jot down a lot of ideas that are coming to my head. Uh, I was able to write 17 episodes of a 53 episode series thus far. The process of me actually being able to partner up with uh, an illustrator was a grueling process. As I was still searching, I was still writing. And that's all I did. I kept writing, I kept writing, I kept writing. The PB Soldier illustrator is uh, Abel Garcia. He's from uh, Barcelona, Spain, actually. Concept Art is a, a website where you can post jobs, and I pretty much put up an ad, and a bell was one out of like 30 or 40 people who uh, applied for the job, and a bell one with flying colors. He captured the um, vision of what I was trying to do for years in one shot. At first, I was very uncomfortable working with someone that I, I couldn't see, but you know, I had to put my faith in the creator above to just guide me and allow um, certain things just to come into come into place. The bell speaks very little English, but like I said, we were able to communicate through email, and basically, um, we would translate uh, everything that I would give him. And sometimes, some things were um, you know lost in translation. Hola, soy Abel García. One of the things that I did was when I was writing the script, I was very descriptive in what I wanted a certain scene to look like. Mientras estaba leyendo el guión, ya estaba pensando en cómo en cómo dibujar la ciudad, cómo ilustrarla. Para ello utilicé dos dos ciudades de referencia como son Nueva York y, y Tokio. Incluso 
me dio en, en, a la cabeza, imagínense, la película Black Fan para darle un poco de este, de este aire moderno, futurista, caótico. It, it's actually a funny process. Um, being that I knew that I couldn't draw, I took pictures and I, on top of the pictures, I acted out the scenes and took pictures from those different perspectives. So that's what I was envisioning, these various pictures that I took. I've done Krav Maga, the Israeli martial arts. That's what they use to train the soldiers with. I've done a training for that for about a year and a half. And doing tons and tons of research, uh, I went to you know NYU. I took a storyboard and animatics class. I did a writing for graphic novels course. All of this made me sharper and more calculated in developing the book. I wanted PB Soldier to be very different from everything else that's out there. Um, when you look at the storyline, when you look at the artwork, when you look at the characters, they are um, complex. PB Soldier in itself it has so many layers to him that um, gets revealed throughout the story. Well, the PB part is, it has several meanings and that's all a part of the story. Um, the mystery behind who PB Soldier is and what the PB actually stands for. Welcome to the world of PB Soldier.